Hello, this is Alkesh Nanavati again, and this is possibly the last video of this uh, series. Uh, we have seen all the way up to Hotspot. Let me just uh, expand this script just to see where we are. Um, okay, so here is the entire script. We have been through the um, uh, city itself, uh, FBX and all that. We have been through the um, uh, aircraft and the particle system for the aircraft. We haven't been through rain and the integration of uh, s this scene, the, the city, with the fog and the particles and the aircraft. So we'll walk through those. But before we go there, I had some time to play around and I have made some changes uh, to the aircraft. So um, I have created some other bumps here that you can see. And the technique is the same that we discussed, um, created on both sides, so just for some uniformity. Okay, so we go from here and let's see the next step here from Hotspot is the integration of hot, uh, the aircraft itself with the particles. So that will be this, and you can see all particles are there. Um, you see the fire here, the uh, rain bouncing off, and there is a streak of uh, smoke here that you can see in alpha. Right. Okay, so that's that, and the hot spot looking really bright and nice. Um, from there, we go to um, the light wrap system, which you may have seen if you have seen the other video that I have on my channel. But anyway, let's uh, quickly walk through this. So what you have here is a MET control tool which is combining two alphas. So alpha that is already in this MET control, and I'll just remove this for now. And let's look at alpha. And it's just uh, like any other alpha that you would see uh, or expect to see. What this node doing is uh, combining this alpha with another alpha which I have created which is blurred. Right. So when you combine both of them, and because it is set to subtract, what you will see is something like this. So it gives you ability to do light wrap. And how much light wrapping you want to do here depends on how much blurring you are going to do of, uh, of the other um, mat control. And um, you know, just leave it somewhere where it, uh, it looks nice. I'm leaving here at this level and uh, what that does is when you go to the color channel again it's combining the aircraft with light wrap with the um, the blur node here which is taking the environment right so this is the environmental uh, image uh, it's just the same image that you see where the sky is you know the replaced sky and I have just blurred that and that comes in as a foreground and the aircraft is in the background so what happens because of the light wrap you see um, the uh, edges are where you know um, the effect is casted so if you want to take a look here and I'm going to disconnect um, this blur node let me just create a little helper here so I don't have to go all the way up uh, there you go so if I disconnect this one, you will see that the light wrapping goes away, and when this comes in again, you see the light wrapping, right? All right, so disconnect, or delete that one. I don't need that anymore. And where are we now? Okay, so from light wrap, the next stop uh, is merging of the scene in it with the um, aircraft. So that gives you this effect here, which is combining everything there's still something not quite right uh, from the composition uh, standpoint it's not composited properly you can see still see the harsh edges here of the aircraft so um, what we are going to do for that is again the same technique that you may have seen the aircraft uh, coming from here which this is the aircraft right this aircraft is going into this filter node here and that gives you the alpha you know for the uh, edges and these edges are then run through this uh, brightness and contrast node 
where I have clipped them to white so they are uniformly white all over and then I have blurred them problem here as you saw was that the edges are very harsh right so let's uh, put this in A right and in B we will put the uh, the blurred image and let's see A and B together so here you will see um, as I move my bar here this is A so this is without the blur the edge blur and when I go through you see that you know it's integrating better with the uh, environment and the, the uh, background so it's only affecting the edges because that's all we have blurred and it just gives you much nicer you know result for the uh, total integration right so that and then you have the rain so let's walk over the rain particles um, nothing spectacular about that it's um, just what you would expect uh, in a 3d uh, compositing environment uh, I don't need this I'll just go to a and put this in here okay um, this particles are coming from this uh, cube this is the emitter and they're coming down uh, here is the particle particle renderer you, you can't see because it's uh, too tiny and it's merging with the camera because you do need the camera that is going to go through the rain and it's rendered um, right here so now you see these particles are coming down if you if you play this you will see that you know they're actually falling down like rain but they're not blurred like a uh, streak um, one thing that I needed them blurred and also um, not opaque right some some transparent so um, the, the technique that I used here is the background tool which is just staying in the background it's not playing any part um, it has no color uh, it's just giving me ability to merge this with the foreground which you see here and now I have ability to control the transparency of the uh, of the foreground so I can now you know make it opaque or you know transparent um, right so that's that and that is going into the blur node which you can't see here because of the uh, uh, the, the tininess but when you see them blend into the scene then you will see uh, this is the start of the frame so we need to go let's say 40th frame okay so here you will see the rain particles as they are coming down you can see them everywhere right and they are somewhat transparent you, you can't probably you know tell big of a difference in at this resolution but uh, if you freeze a frame at full HD then I'm sure that you can see the uh, the transparency in in there right so that completes the overall integration and here is the uh, the final saver node which uh, gives you the uh, the end result just one other thing uh, if you wanted to um, get more fog out of here then you can easily you know go and increase the fog and, and you will s you see that you know the whole city is now engulfed into the uh, into the fog so just that you know one control that you still have that if you wanted to make even more dramatic that fog is coming from the back towards the front and if you right click here you can also animate this you know so uh, for some shot that requires that incoming fog from far to the near then you can just animate these two points and you know, you'll be good to go all right so that's that for this uh, comp here I'll uh, play the uh, the final results and uh, uh, we'll talk again thanks a lot